Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. Today we have a new Raspberry Pi 5 announcement. This is gonna be pretty awesome. Two to three times higher performance than a Pi 4. Stick around, let's get some more details for you. All right, straight from the Raspberry Pi documentation for Pi 5, this is what it's going to look like. It's a little tiny bit different than the Pi 4. You'll notice that there is the uh, 3.5 millimeter audio jack missing, and you'll notice that there are two more camera connectors here, and we have a PCIe connector for some high-speed PCI devices. Fantastic. 2.4 gigahertz Cortex-A76 processor. We can do dual 4K, 60 frame per second output. I'm gonna have to try that out when mine comes in. I, I kind of doubt that. That has more to do with internet performance than it does with video performance though. It can probably do two full screens at 4K, but I don't know about 60 frames per second internet streaming video. That's a test we're gonna have to see about. They are doing their own in-house inbuilt silicon this time. It's got its own RP1 Southbridge, which is gonna increase all of your bandwidth. You're gonna need a new SD card. Get the highest performance SD card you can because they have improved the SD card bus, the SDR104 is the new high-speed mode in town. Some of your specs at a quick glance, Vidcore V2 GPU, which is about 800 megahertz, supports OpenGL like they all do. Vulkan 1.2 is new. The dual output on the screen, it says up to two cameras or up to two screens. And I think what they mean is one camera and screen or two screens or two cameras and no screens, but not four total devices at the same time. So we'll have to figure that out also. We've got RAM in four gig and eight gig SKUs. It's got 802.11ac Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 5.0 and Bluetooth low energy BLE, two USB 3.0 ports, two USB 2.0 ports. I don't know why they're still supporting the 2.0 ports because the 3.0 ports are backwards compatible, but you know, let them do what they're going to do. Uh, gigabit Ethernet with power over Ethernet support. That's going to be good. It does require the PoE hat, which is not yet available. I think that would be pretty cool because I could make my very own Starlink Wi-Fi router. Get rid of that big, massive 120 volt AC beast. Yuck. Two four-lane MIPI camera display transceivers, PCI 2.0 interface, PCIe 2.0 interface, 5 volt 5 amp DC power with USB-C with power delivery support, PD support. That's going to be good, but I wonder how much different voltages it's going to put out. PD provides a whole bunch of different voltages, 5, 9, 12, 15, and 20. And I wonder if it's only going to expose 5 volts over the PD. It's fine, but 12 volts out or 12 volts in would be nice. Raspberry Pi standard 40 pin header. It's got a built-in real-time clock and a spot for a battery now so you will not need a real-time clock module external anymore if you carry the battery with you that's pretty good and it now this is neat it now has its own power button hopefully that means it will also soft power down when i power it off remotely that would be very nice don't worry the form factor is the same as the model b's from before it is just missing a couple of connectors on the outside so it will still fit in the same spaces that it used to fit in however you will need some new cases or some new frames for your existing cases for most of your modest loads it will will run outside of a case without a fan installed. However, people like us are gonna to wanna to have it inside of some kind of case or at the very least with an active cooler fan. Luckily, the fan that it suggests is only $5. So I'd suggest that you get it whether you need it or not because $5 worth of insurance, you know? What'll happen if you don't run the fan is it will throttle the CPU performance back and you won't get what you were expecting out of it. The new camera ports are going to require camera adapter cables, but those are available as well. They're one, two, and $3, depending on how long you get them so not very expensive and personally i think this is shaping up to be a pretty high performance little tiny computer i don't know what the prices are yet i'm going to leave a link to amazon down below it's not available there but when it is available that link will be active and ready for you another big change coming your way is going to be an updated raspberry pi os and i have seen what this looks like and it is pretty slick looking so i think these are all steps in the right direction i really appreciate you stopping by and watching if you aren't subscribed hit that subscribe button down below because over half of you watch the channel but you aren't subscribed and i really do this for the subscribe number counter that is my favorite thing to watch go up otherwise thanks for being awesome and there is a video right up here i think you will enjoy next we'll see you over there